Cloud finally has his dress. And he's heading to Don Corneo's mansion. Oh, he's got a mullet. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. They put quite a bit of effort into working out the aesthetics of Corneo's mansion. It looks very much like the original game. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Of course, the layout is different, but I have to expect the layout's going to be different. The layout for nothing has remained the same that so far in this game. Girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. <laughs> We've been waiting How the for hell you to show. Can you not tell that that's a guy? That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Rooms at the end. I don't know. It seemed like walking. Leslie did. I have to assume that Leslie knows who this is, especially since Cloud confronted him earlier. I was letting it go anyway. so dizzy gas uh, uh. come on I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. In the original game, they weren't all sent to the same room, and I don't quite understand why they were gassed, considering they all seem to have volunteered for this whole thing. 
it doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe just to have this weird reveal that we had a second ago. Now, ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies, let's hustle. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? The impression that I had in the original game when we got to Corneo's mansion was that the entire thing was intended to sort of be funny. This pervy asshole that runs the town wants to bring in a new girl to try out, and it wasn't the final wife in the original game. I'm pretty sure it was actually just a sort of, he was hiring prostitutes and he would try them out before he'd put them off to work. In this, he's trying to find a wife for the weekend or some shit. The impression that I had was that it was intended to be more comedic than anything. Now, of course, things change as they do the remake, and character motivations can change and all that kind of stuff. So in this, with this dungeon, although it is something resembling what we saw in the original game, it's clearly giving us the belief that Corneo is supposed to be something of a greater threat than he was in the original game. It was sort of a joke before. They're trying to build him up to be something here. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm-mm. Uh, whatever. All right! Y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas, we got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself. Never forget, the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stupid! Wait! <laughs> Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. There were a few different ways that this could have played out in the original game, so I'm going to assume that there were a few different ways that this could play out here. There was the option of uh, Cloud being chosen, which is what happened here. There was the option of Tifa being chosen, and there was the option of... Uh, Aerith being chosen. And which one would get chosen would depend on what effort that you put into getting Cloud's uh, dress. So if you did all the way and did all of the, you chose the best dress, you got the best wig, you got the makeup on, you did all that kind of crap, you would end up with Cloud being chosen and he would end up in Corneo's bedroom and then after some conversation, Cloud just like awkwardly sitting there you would have a uh, you'd have a scene where they would confront Corneo, but Tifa and Aerith would just run in and suddenly be a part of the scene. Now it's happening different here. We actually have the scene with Tifa and Aerith. Now I I don't know. This is kind of an odd sudden thing for them to throw at us because we I believe this is probably the first time in this game. I. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting another point, but it might be the first time in this remake where we actually have you controlling a party that doesn't have Cloud in it. Which, I mean, it makes sense, because even in the original game, Cloud wasn't the sole party member of the entire game. Later on in the game, much later on in the game, you spent a rather large portion of it without Cloud in the party. But I'm guessing it was sort of they wanted to give these two characters their own moments that wasn't dependent on what uh, Cloud's presence. And it's clear in the coming episodes that they're putting a lot more effort into these two characters to make them not seem so dependent on Cloud for, like, rescuing and all that kind of stuff. Just sort of um, a kind of modern game design and style and all that kind of stuff where nobody really wants to portray a female character as somebody who's dependent on a male character for a lot of things. So we'll see in the coming episodes situations where all of the different characters trade off getting help by a different character. Not necessarily that's a bad thing. In fact, I thought that uh, the fight scene with them beating the piss out of all the thugs was kind of entertaining. The other options, which I have yet to experience in this game, would be Cloud getting locked in that room by himself, not with the other reject then fighting his way through the guards, the thugs, and then going to rescue the other reject, but she ends up rescuing herself. Then you go into Corneo's bedroom. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes! Yes, I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey! Who the hell gave you permission to do that? 
One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. 